Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Realm of Ori. In this video, we will continue with Volume 16, Chapter 1, The Betrayal, Part 13. And before we start, this video contains spoilers from the Tensura Light Novel. And by the way guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications for upcoming videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Zalerio was always calm. In this mission, it was his job to make a distraction, and he did it perfectly. In the labyrinth, the men he had brought with him were fighting on the same level as the resistance. This wasn't a deed, but a literal way of putting it. It was a surprise, but they would have to change what they knew about the enemy. As Zalerio took a look at the battlefield, he came to this conclusion. The two people in front of him stood out the most. Zalerio thought it was important to remember the names Cherries and Trainee. Still, Zalerio decided he didn't have to take things seriously. I was told at first that there was only a small group of people left here, but it doesn't look like that's true. I thought the enemy would have to use up all of the forces in the labyrinth to stop me, but there is still a strong one named Zijin. I hope Cornu and Dino can finish what they have to do before he wakes up. He was a little worried, but Feldway's plan didn't have any flaws. Because Zalerio was sure of this, he was able to enjoy the battle. Oh no. Veldora Sama is going to laugh at me later when he finds out I was at the mercy of someone who cut corners. There's no reason to be afraid. Velgren defeated Veldora, and now he is in our hands. That joke isn't very funny. It's no joke. You must have seen it, right? That's why you're getting restless. Cherries was a very powerful mage. Cherries belonged to a very small group of exceptional talents, even to Zalerio, who had destroyed many dimensions. Trainee, who held the Spirit King, was also very talented but not as much as Cherry's. The powerful magic she was good at was scary, but Zalerio wasn't much affected by it, so it wasn't much of a problem. Cherry's was just like him. He was very good at controlling his energy. He brought together heat energy and shot out powerful heat rays. But Zalario's distortion field, which he is very proud of, could cancel this out. Zalario should have been most worried about how well he could think and decide things. Cherry's would always try different things against Zalario, unlike Trainee. He fought carefully, as if each move was a test to see how well it would work. Zalerio had faced opponents like this before, and he knew that they couldn't be taken lightly. But that was about to stop. Cherry's patience was wearing thin, and he was no longer as careful as he had been before. He was no longer going to have fun with this fight. Zalerio thought, it's almost time. I'm sorry, but I think we should stop talking about this now. Both of you have been brave and strong warriors. But, unfortunately, you can't beat me. There was a clear difference in strength. The amount of energy in total was also too much to Zalario's advantage. Most important was the question of getting along. Over spirits, angels had a natural advantage. Cherries and Trainee relied on the power of spirits, but Zalario, who used to be a seraph but has since fallen, was immune to their attacks. It's too bad, that Triss has probably reached her limit. Only for a few dozen seconds will I be able to hold on to the Spirit King. Do you still have plans, Cherries Dono? I'm sorry, but no. But don't worry, Rimuru-sama and Veldora-sama have taught me well how to keep going when things get hard. If that's the case, I'll agree with you. I won't let people who are broke take over Ramirez-sama's labyrinth. Even though they had taken a lot of damage, they still had enough energy. They still wanted to fight and showed no signs of giving up, which made Zalerio very angry. You don't seem like the kind of fools who don't know what's going on, but are you really going to hold on to your miserable life until the end? If you think you can just be brought back to life and have nothing to worry about, you're wrong. Zalerio figured that soon it would be time for Dino to get Ramirez out of the labyrinth. The unique immortality of the labyrinth was only possible because Ramirez was there. If Ramirez just left the labyrinth, everything would be fine, but if she lost consciousness and then left the labyrinth, all of the records would be reset. In other words, Ramirez's followers would no longer be immortal once Dino's mission was done. Zalerio knew this, which is why he was easy on Cherries and Trainee and let them get more and more hurt. Your fighting skills deserve praise, so if you want, I can kill you without pain and with honor if you want. That was how Zalerio showed kindness to the strong. But Cherries and Trainee had to say no, so that was their answer. Fufufu, you think you've won? How st- Agree. You never know what will happen in a battle until it's over. You won't lose as long as you don't give up on winning, but you don't even know that, do you? That's awful. It's not often that I'd want to be kind to you. Is it mercy? A lot of people have lost even though they said they were going to win in the end. You don't know that's called a doom flag, do you? What a fool you are to think that a miracle in this situation will come. 
Because Rimuru Sama has done a lot of miracles. People who work for him have been used to this kind of thing for a long time, and some of them have even started to imitate it. Even now, you can see. First of all, in this labyrinth, just buying time was often enough to change the situation. This time wasn't any different. There was a new warrior awake. You're right. And if you dare to go after Ramirez Sama, a friend and ally of my god, I, the Jehenna Lord Adalman, will fight you. So what if another warrior joins? Zalerio thought this at first. The longer it took for him to hear from Dino, the more it bothered him. Too slow. Even though I've known about Dino's tendency to be lazy for a long time, if we don't get this done soon, I'll have more and more trouble. Zalerio was getting more and more upset as the situation didn't go as planned. Then, a man who looked like a knight walked up to Zalerio. I don't want to fight you because you have so many people and I only have one, but I'm no longer a paladin. Please forgive me, but pragmatism is more important than honor. This is what Albert said. Rimuru gave him a set of mythical great armor, and Adalman gave him a gift when he woke up. Together, these things turned him into a Jehenna paladin. Albert pointed his sword at Zalerio because he was the official owner of the beautiful armor. This kind of man still existed. Even from Zalario's point of view, Albert's presence was huge. He looked like a swordsman from the way he moved, and the mythical grade blade in his hand could hurt Zalario. At first glance, he could tell that this was something he couldn't ignore. I'm also here. That voice belonged to Wenti, the Hell Dragon King, who had woken up from her evolutionary sleep to become a Jehenna dragon. Wenti bowed gracefully now that she knew where she had learned it. As soon as Zalario realized he was at a disadvantage, his face went blank. Even with these problems, he should still be able to do it. That wasn't the point, though. Zalario couldn't win unless Dino did something about Ramirez. Even if I were to use this opportunity to show the enemy my true potential, all that would happen is expose my hand. But if I don't do that, it won't be enough to deal with these guys. Zalario decided what to do. If it were just Cherries and Trainee, he could control himself around them. But if three powerful awakened demon lords joined the fight, even Zalario would have a hard time. Feldway's plan would fail if Zalario didn't act as a distraction here. Zalario could not accept this because he was proud of the fact that he had never failed a mission, it can't be helped. All of them are going to die anyway, so let's show them how strong I really am. Just when Zalario was about to decide. Yes, I'll tell you a story that you might find interesting. The 70 levels of the labyrinth are my realm of protection, so why do you suppose I disregarded the intruders there? What? I don't want to keep you waiting, so I'll give you the answer quickly. Because there was no longer any reason for me to be there. What do you want to say? A dolman, who was a skeleton dressed as a saint, smiled and laughed in a mean way. This made Zalerio feel bad, so he asked again. Wait a minute. What is he saying? He has no reason to be there. Does this mean that something bad happened to Cornu during the intrusion? Zalerio knew the truth before he heard the answer. Adelman's real goal, though, was to make Zalerio doubt himself, so he told him in person what had happened on the 70th level. Velgrin Sama has killed that fool who broke in. That's why I felt like I could trust you and talk to you. Huh, I see. Cornu can't beat Velgrind, so he doesn't stand a chance. Many strange things seem to be going on, but they should still be fixed. So, you've sent the rest of your small army to fight for me? Cornu is also unlucky. If he had stuck to his original plan and not switched roles with me, none of this would have happened. However, I can simply ignore Velgrind. She is easy to control when Michael Sama is around. What's more important right now? So that you can pay. So, you're strong enough to fight Velgrin Sama. I hate to say it, but it seems like people have really underrated us. You're right. Even if we all worked together, there's a good chance we'd still lose. Both of them could tell from the way Zalerio was acting that he was hiding some amazing skills. But Adalman and the others still had the upper hand. Adalman explained why this is the case. I already know what you want to ask me. You really want to find Ramirez Sama, right? But we have been told to put Ramirez Sama's safety first and make sure she is safe at all times. Adalman had first made sure that Ramirez was safe when he woke up from his evolutionary sleep. If Ramirez was safe, everything else would be fine, of course. Rimuru's order was the most important thing. Adalman and the other guardian's main job was to keep the labyrinth safe. In other words, they had to make sure Ramirez was safe. Ramirez Sama is safe then, right? Of course, trainee Dono. Zijin Dono is coming, so no one will be able to touch Ramirez Sama no matter how many people are there. Oh, I see. That's good to know. Trainee smiled. The others did the same, and they all looked relieved. Now they didn't have to worry about anything but Zalerio. 
about Zalerio, he felt like Dino had failed all over again when Zijin's name was brought up. Right? Zijin was the only one who could use distortion field. But if Dino really fights, no, you can't expect much from him. He didn't want to go on this mission from the start, so he's probably long gone by now. Zalerio had a good idea of how things were right now. The telepathy net came from Dino, as if it had been sent there just for that moment. I know you can hear me, Zalerio. The goal has not been reached. It looks like Cornu made a mistake when Velgren joined the fight. I also have a bad guy on my side, so I'm going to back off now. You should leave before the labyrinth shuts down. See ya. Zalerio couldn't help but laugh bitterly because it was so one-sided. Zalerio thought to himself that Dino would do something like this, so he also decided to run away. Since victory was no longer important at this point, it made sense to avoid doing anything else that wasn't necessary. This is the first time in my life that I've had to retreat when my enemies are just a few stragglers who could be easily swept away. Remember that there won't be a next time. Zalerio told his men that he was sorry and then teleported away from the labyrinth with them. Those who stayed behind didn't feel like winners for long, but they did enjoy the peace of mind that came with having defended the labyrinth well. The danger was no longer in the labyrinth. After releasing the world of illusion skill, Zijin turned to face Beretta, who had just completed placing Ramirez on the couch. Has Dino Dono gotten away? It seems that way. Ho ho ho, you're being too humble. Only because Ramirez Sama was kind did he get away. Beretta had a point. Zijin had seen that Dino wore the resurrection bracelet for a long time. He knew about it, but he chose to ignore it. It was just a test. Will Ramirez's blessings work even if the equipper is clearly against Ramirez? As anyone could see, this is what happened. Dino won the bet and made it through. It could have gone either way for Zijin. The results of this experiment were only found by accident, and he had already won when he defended Ramirez. If that's what Ramirez Sama wants, I can't do anything about it. Beretta nodded back. Zijin had planned to go after Dino, but that would depend on how he acted after being brought back to life. He would have crushed him if there was no way out, but it looked like that wasn't necessary. Dino not only chose to run away, but he also convinced his friends to do the same. His two friends agreed with this and also left the area. What's up with Zalerio? Adalman Dono ran over, and there is no longer any sign of the other person. They must have also given up and left. At this point, Adalman and the others had come back to life and joined the fight, and the remaining enemies seemed to have decided to run away. That's all right. Hmm. We would have lost if not for Ramirez Sama, right? Indeed. Even if we had won, there would have been deaths, which for us is the same as losing. Exactly. Both Zijin and Beretta gave each other a nod. Both men had the idea at the same time that they needed to start being more careful again. But this might happen later. With that, the labyrinth was safely locked down. After making sure Ramirez was still safe, Zijin went back to his domain. Music